Hey y'all, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We're here with another video, and you already know what it is, another banger. Yeah, Merry Christmas, y'all. This is the calendar I've been waiting for, the Tickle Pink Advent Calendar, and I was excited about this, guys. I was excited, I was waiting for it, and you know what's crazy? I I bought this, um, it was, uh, they, they said the shipping wouldn't take long. It didn't take long at all, however, um, you know how you track a package and it updates you throughout the tracking process? This didn't. It was literally in Florida, and then I waited for updates, wasn't getting any updates, and then it was here in New York. So, yes, I'm so happy I got this before Christmas because the tracking wasn't updated. I didn't think I was going to get this before Christmas, but here we are. This was well worth the money. The price point on this was $150, y'all. And like I said, it was well worth the money. The packaging was beautiful. I was so excited about it and it was so well made like this packaging here the advent calendar itself was well made it was thick cardboard it was so pretty look at this y'all look at this shit so it had the same type of thing that the secret nail affair had uh 48 out of 200 i guess each company made like 200 um boxes for their christmas um for their Christmas boxes because uh, Secret Nail Affair had the same 200. So I guess I was 48 of 200 people to buy this, which is kind of crazy because um, I would think a lot more people would buy these. However, maybe some maybe a lot of people didn't know about them. Um, so, yeah, look at this. It came with nine acrylics and three gel top coats, um, not top coats, three gel uh, sparkly uh, sparkly gels. What am I even talking about? They're sparkly gels. Jesus Christ. I can't even get it out. Woo. Anyway. So yeah, so we're here. I'm excited. Um, like I said, I've been waiting for this and guess what y'all guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm on my new phone. I'm on my new phone. And this little mother has 256 gigabytes. However, however, apparently I need to update my data plan because usually with like higher, like newer phones, you do have to do that sometimes, um, update your data plan. Like, have you ever went and bought a phone and you can't have a certain data plan because your the phone is too good to run on that data plan? I think that's what I'm having issues with now. Um, and because my data is not like working well outside of my house and I just don't understand why, like when I'm home on Wi-Fi, everything is great. But when I'm out and I'm trying to like do stuff it's not working well and I have straight talk it's a prepaid they're under Verizon I've never had this issue before so I'm I'm thinking I have to update my data plan to um the uh new what is it called oh my god it's like 5g but it's like a sped up 5g uh 5g wide band with wide with wide band wide with my band one of them anyway so that, I think that's what I have to do but um at home it works great I love it I'm so excited like y'all I have like three videos in my movie and nobody it's not shutting down oh my god I'm so excited because I was working on 64 gigs y'all and like I said I had bought 200 extra gigs with iPhone however I didn't read the fine print or I just they just don't but they do not um it does not apply to videos. It's just um, photos. So that's all over, y'all. It's all over. So I'm going to be a freaking video making animal over here. You don't even know. So anyway, so I'm just going through um, popping out these acrylics. Um, look how pretty this is. Like it came with all these pretty snowflakes, the acrylic and color. Now, I have only heard ever heard good things about tickled pink, the acrylics from them. Um, with that being said, usually when I hear a lot of good stuff about an acrylic and I try it, that's usually the case. It's usually a good acrylic because um, not everybody's going to say it's a good acrylic if it's not a good acrylic. So I'm excited about these. Um, they were very, this was such a fun box for me. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into it eventually when I get everything out of this box. Um, it's almost Christmas, y'all. I have done wrapped all my gifts. Um, I think I got like 16 gifts per kid. I, I've start, I started buying in September, y'all. 
I said I was going to start buying early and I started buying early and I was hiding them in my brother's closet because he has a big walk-in closet um, and I was hiding them in his closet and I just kind of lost track of where I was in my spend, not spending, but how much I was getting the kids. Um, so yeah, so when I pulled everything out of his closet, I just, because it wasn't in front of my face to see what I was, like how much I was actually getting. And y'all, it took up my whole room. I had to sit in my little space and, and, and wrap these fucking gifts. But I wrapped them in one night. Um, everything's done. Everything's under the tree. My son, like I told y'all, he can't even handle it. He came in my room today, uh, asking me, mom, can I stay off from school tomorrow? I was like, whether you go to school or stay off, Christmas is still on the same day and you're not getting a gift till the same day. So no, you have to go to school. Like what, why do they think they could get the day off before they're like, you're off Friday. No, hell no. Nah. You're going to school. So anyway, y'all, I was going to tell y'all something. What happened? Something happened. I was definitely going to tell y'all something before we got into these swatches. Am I still taking these out? This was so cute. I've never seen an advent calendar like this. I used to get my kids the sock advent calendars because we also have a family tradition where uh, we call him Hans the Elf. Um, comes and knocks on the door and leaves like little presents like coloring books or like uh, pajamas or things like that. Nothing big. Um, but yeah, so, um, what was I getting to? I was getting to something. Oh my God, I have such bad brain farts. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, I just had a mini stroke, dude. Oh my God. What was I getting to? I was getting to something. I was making a point. Nope. All right. The point's gone. I'll come back to it. Um, so yeah, we're just swatching, uh, lining all these up, getting ready to swatch. So any minute here, guys, any minute here, any minute here. Oh, that's my new candle. That's my new candle. Um, it smells so good. It's my little Christmas candle. Oh my God, look at the aesthetic. It's beautiful. So all is bright is the first one we're swatching. Now this color, this color was poop, oop, doop. Okay. And I'll tell you why it was poop, oop, doop. No offense, tickle pink. Okay. No offense, tickle pink. Um, so poop, oop, doop. Yeah, this color reminded me a lot of the chrome colors from Not Polish. It just, and you're going to see, it just did not swatch good at all. Like, and oh my God, can I say thank you, Tickled Pink, for no snowflakes? Thank you so much for no snowflakes. Um, so yeah, this was the only color I had issues with and that I didn't like. Um, the color was pretty, right? The The color was very pretty, The but it was like a fluffy, it was weird because I even smelled it, which you may think is weird, but I smell things. Um, no, but I smelled it and I'm like, is this even acrylic? Like I had to even take like a second look at it because I thought it might have been like a sugaring thing or something maybe. But no, this was acrylic. It said acrylic. Um, but it also does, uh, say on the, um, on the acrylic, uh, containers that this, these formulas work best with the tickled pink monomer, which I didn't have. I used, I used actually SNA monomer, um, but I've never had an issue with monomers and acrylics, like using different ones. Um, so yeah. Uh, this one just swatched terrible. It swatched like those chrome ones um, that we got from not I got from not polish and I just wasn't I wasn't fond of it. It was a beautiful color. It had like this golden hue to it. Um, but again, it just swatched horrible. This was the only one I had an issue with. Um, so thank thankfully for that. Um, I did have an issue with these all all of them. Every last one sticking to my brush. Um, however, I've never swatched or used a glitter shimmer acrylic that didn't stick to my brush um so there's that do y'all see this like the lumpy it's like weird I don't know but I didn't have an issue with the other ones um just like I said it's sticking to my brush and again these are sh all of these are shimmer glitter colors so I'm going I expect them to kind of stick to the brush um so yeah that one was weird. Um, it was like a fluffy cloud. It didn't smell like acrylic at all. Like, you know, you smell acrylic and it smells like acrylic. Yeah, this did not have any smell to it at all. It was very fluffy and very, like, glittery. I think it might need maybe more clear. Um, you can't really go wrong with glitter acrylics, like I've said in the past. The only thing you can go wrong with is not putting enough, um clear acrylic in it so this is santa baby this was a beautiful red um after i swatched this however i did decide to swatch the darker colors last because this was it was a lot so there was a lot of pigment on my brush there was a lot of 
uh, pigment on my napkin. So I was like, all right, let me swatch the light colors first because I knew this was just going to ruin my monomer color um, and possibly make the other swatches weird. So after this swatch, I decided to swatch these type of colors the last. Um, but yes, this actually swatched beautifully. Um, it polymerized beautifully. The first color didn't really polymerize. It was just kind of weird. Um, again, like those chromey colors from Not Polish. Um, this is just my honest review. Again, um, I buy these all myself. I'm not sponsored in any way. This is all my own money. So I'm going to give you all the honest opinion. Um, and even if I was, I would give you an honest opinion. But some people don't. But yeah, this is all with my own money. So this is going to be my honest opinion. This one swatched beautifully. Again, the only issue I had with this was it stuck to my brush. Like, it stuck to my brush so much that I had to, like, like go in and really, like, clean my brush. So I was, like, like after I swatched all of these, I really had to sit there. Um, and I got that in the video, but I cut it all out because who wants to watch all that? Um, I really had to go in and clean my Kalinske brush. I'm also using Zule's number 14 unicorn brush, one of my favorite brushes. I love her brushes. Very high quality. If you like a brush that has some, like, girth, not girth. <laughs> Fucking girth. Ew. Um, some, like, weight to it. These brushes would be perfect for you. They're beautiful quality. Um, and I just love them. This one, I think, was golden... If I'm not mistaken, Golden Rings? I missed it. I was blathering as per usual. But yes, this was a beautiful color. Again, this one swatched beautiful. There was nothing wrong with it. I, I enjoyed these colors. They were very beautiful. Wait till y'all see the blue in this collection. I And I'm not a blue fan at all. I almost died off my chair when I seen this blue. Um... There's going to be a funny moment in this video that's coming up um, at the end, towards the end. Actually, I think it's when I'm swatching the green. Oh my god, y'all. Wait, just wait. It, I, almost, I almost spilled the whole acrylic. So yeah, we're just over here swatching away. Look how pretty these colors are. Well, look how pretty. I'm so excited for Christmas, y'all. I'm so excited. My brother is so excited because he saw he had presents under the tree. My brother is like a child, y'all, shaking his present. I put his presents in like four different boxes. So I wrapped the actual present, put it in a box, wrapped that box, put it in a box, wrapped another box. Because my brother is the king of guessing what is in a box. So I made sure that he couldn't guess what was in a box, okay? So he's a little excited now. His little grinchy ways are over because he's got um, a present under the tree. Did you all see that golden hue in that? It had like a different kind of swirly color so this is silver bells this was a beautiful color too and again i appreciated that this did not have an overwhelming amount of snowflakes because the um sna ones just everyone was a snowflake snowflakes i think three out of all 10 that i got three did not have those big gigantic snowflakes so i appreciated these these were just beautiful colors um, again, they swatch beautifully. They polymerize beautifully. Um, the only issue I had, and I have this with every glitter acrylic, so it's not even the acrylic from them. I'm sure there are regular covered acrylics. Like I said, I've heard nothing but good things about Tickle Pink. I'm sure um, if I tried their covers, they would be absolutely bomb. Um, but it's a glitter acrylic. It's going to stick in your brush. You're going to have glitter in your brush. You're going to have all that in your brush. So um, what is this? Pink Christmas. This reminded me of Zule's Buchona vibes. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this really did. It reminded me of her Buchona vibes, um, which is a pinky gold um, glitter acrylic that she has. Um, so yeah, this was another pretty color. I'm just in here mixing it. I mix all of my glitters. Um, I even mix the other glitters, but I did take that out of the video because it's just too much. It's a lot of time in between um, mixing and doing all that, but I did put it in here um, because you have to mix your glitters. You have to mix your pigments. Um, a lot of people don't do that and it gives them like an weird consistency. Y'all mix your glitters and pigments, please. Mix up. I promise you the consistency will be so much better, um, especially with pigments. A lot of pigmented colors can swatch weird if you're not mixing them. So this was another beautiful color. I think this was, what was this called again? Pink Miss? Pink Miss. Merry, merry Pink Miss. This, this one was Candy Cane. And again, this is like the average Candy Cane color, y'all. It's, you know, silver. We got some red. Some red. But I did enjoy these. I'm going to do a set with these. I can't wait to do a set with these. I can't wait to upload this video so I can do a set with these. Yeah, y'all. 
Um, so yeah, thank y'all for, um, coming back, watching my videos. Thank y'all for subscribing. I'm in the Christmas spirit. I can't wait till Valentine's Day nails. Um, yeah. Did y'all see Portia today, uh, hand painting that plaid? She amazes me, y'all. She amazes me sometimes. Cause that takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of time. That is time consuming. Painting anything is time consuming. Even, um, things that are very easy to paint. Um, is time consuming. So I just, you know, put my hat off to her. Um, I think this was called, uh, Huba Wadi Woody. Uh, so I'm Huba Wadi. Do y'all know what movie that's from? Do y'all know what movie that's from? That is from The Grinch. He goes, Huba Wadi. He says something like Huba Wadi Wadi. But, um, yeah, y'all. Yeah. I'm just talking. I just be talking, y'all. Sometimes I can't stop talking. And I'm not one of those people who don't shut up. Like, I talk a lot in my videos, but I'm not one of those people. Have, have you ever met a person who just doesn't shut up? They just talk and talk and talk and talk and they don't even give, you can't even get a word in. Like you can't even tell them a story. You start talking or answering them back and they just cut you off and just, oh no, I'm not one of those people. I just talk in my videos because I like to talk to y'all. I like to talk in my videos and I like to interact and engage. And that's just me. And that's just how how I am, but I am definitely not a person who just talks all the time and doesn't shut up. I know when to shut up. Um, so yeah, what are we? So oh, this is the one baby. It's cold outside. Yeah. 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 What's that song? What is that song? What can make me feel that way? My girl, my girl. Talking about my girl. Look how pretty this is. My girl. Oh, sorry. I had to get that out. Um, oh, that's where it's from. Ooh, baby. But I got the month of May. You know who that is? Rod Stewart. Um, yeah, Maggie. I think it's Rod Stewart, Maggie May. Yeah, that's where. Okay. Uh, anyway, moving on. Look how pretty this blue is, guys. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful, and I don't even like blue. I think Portia would appreciate this blue. Like, this is a really pretty blue. It's shimmery, it's pretty, and just, oh my god. It is so sexy. I need to do a set with this, like, ASAP. I want to do one more Christmas set, and I'm thinking about either doing that tonight or tomorrow night. Um, I'm off on vacation now from work, so, you know, I got my little Christmas vacay I took. So, probably tonight, I don't have to wake up early for work. So, yeah probably do that tonight or um like i said tomorrow night but i'm definitely gonna get you all this video tonight because i love y'all i love y'all i love y'all real bad look how pretty it's so pretty oh christmas tree oh christmas tree here it comes y'all oh my god what the fuck Of course I heard that. What was that? I don't know, a big ass bang. Go. Oh, get I in guess the it's too. No, get in the window. Oh, that's the smell. <laughs> Yo. What? Uh, Uncle Eric's an idiot. What? What happened? What he said? He said that better not be my car. <laughs> He's tripping. <laughs> Fucking big ass bay. Like, what the fuck? Living in a war zone. For real. The hell? That shit scared the shit out of me. Redneck turf wars. Trying to, every time I'm back here trying to do a video, man, something's either flying down the back stairs or bombs are going off outside. Oh my god, these shimmers are so pretty. Y'all, that big bang scared the ever loving. I I almost dropped the whole acrylic. Like I don't know what the heck. We have a um a army base near our house. It's not a base. It's like an arsenal, and they do test bombing like things sometimes. So I think that might have been what it was. But y'all, it scared me so bad. Like I 
almost the it was just bad oh <sighs> but yeah when i played it back yo that shit had me cracking up because my brother texted me he's like yo that better not have been my car i think he was joking but okay so we're getting into the gels now we got three gels um these were very pretty they were kind of translucent though um like you could see through them however i did read the back of them because um, I wanted to see the curing time for them because I put them in for 90 seconds and they were kind of sticky still. Not necessarily wet, but just like a little sticky. Um, I don't know if they're like, you know how the no wipe top coat, it's not sticky. Um, these might, you might have to wipe. Um, but anyway, so they were kind of translucent, but I did read the back and it says two coats. Um, and then when I did put two coats on, um, they were very opaque and, and pretty, except the gold one. It was still see-through. Um, you'll be able to see that in the video. But these were very pretty. Um, I enjoy, Like I said, I enjoyed this whole box. Um, again, the first color wasn't really that great. But other than that, all eight other colors were perfectly fine. Um, this was, uh, for the price point, it was well worth it. You're getting nine acrylics and three gels. So, yeah. I totally think it was worth it. I would buy it again. It was beautiful. I was very satisfied. And I'm happy because my last two boxes I was satisfied with. I'm just showing you all the number of the colors. Um, so if you all want to go get these or um, this was the prettiest. This one was my favorite. The 246. This greenish color. Um, kind of like I guess these would match the three acrylic shimmers, um, the gold, the red, and the green one at the end, um, but they were just beautiful, um, and that blue one was super, super pretty, um, so yeah, I loved all of these, I recommend this kit, um, this is Page X Nails Approved, um, I do recommend this to anybody who wanted to buy it or wants to maybe look at it next year, um, yeah, this was fun, and it's crazy because, um, Advent calendars have come a long way. I know they have, like, makeup advent calendars, Chanel. They have, like, uh, St. Laurent. Uh, how do you say that? Yves St. Laurent. Um, they have all kinds of advent calendars um, for, like, makeup and things. And they've just come a long way with the advent calendars. So now we have acrylic advent calendars. Um, awesome. Awesome sauce. Um, yeah, but we're coming up on the end of the video. Thank y'all for, like I say in every video, thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for, um you know, supporting me. I appreciate y'all. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I'm going to definitely try to do one more set um, before Christmas is over. I have a couple things in mind. So yeah, I'm gonna get that out to y'all. Hopefully, hopefully don't, don't, don't hold me to my, don't hold me to it. But yeah, I'm going to try my hardest. Um, I'm a little busy this week. I have to go get, um, I have to get my house ready for Christmas, clean up after these little, these little munchkins I got running around here who mess my whole house up all the time. So yeah, thank y'all. Um, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, and share out the video. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Um, and again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Have a great night, y'all.
I'm on you, got me falling from the ceiling for you.